Hi, this is Donna from DJ Creations. I wanted to bring a little bit of holiday cheer and today I'm going to show you and demonstrate you how to make some peppermint snowmen. Um, these little snowmen look like this and they're so fun to make. Let me see if I can get that better. They're made out of, you need to have three peppermint patties. They can be Brock's or York's or, or you can just get them at Walmart. You need to have three scallops. I cut these out of a using uh, the Stampin' Up! punch at one and three quarters inch punch and a one and a half inch circle. So we need three of those as well. Then also you can cut out a little hat if you, out of just um, cardstock if you want a little hat on him. Um, some paint some black and orange paint and I used chalk uh, for his cheeks. So we're going to start out first by cutting out our three black scallop circles. So I'm, there's one and I already had two more cut out so there's three and then we're going to use the inch and a half punch and there's that one. So now we have three of those. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do with that is we're going to paint on our first one. And I'm going to take the, some pink chalk. And I'm going to pink up his cheeks. Just a couple little cheeks in there, okay? Then the next is using some paint to finish his face. I like to water down my paint just a little bit. I'm going to paint in his his mouth. So just touching and making a nice little smile face. Little dimples there for him. Okay. And I always like to use both sides of my brush. So I'm going to use that to make his eyes. Just dip in the end of your brush. Draw in some eyes. And then on the other ones, we're going to put in his buttons. So there's one button there, and two on one, and we put one on the last one right there. So that makes your buttons for his jacket. Okay, and then we're going to pick up the orange, water that down a bit. And just touch it, push down, and pull out, and that makes it a little orange. And if you want the nose to be a little bit bigger at the base than you do here, and I like mine to be a little crooked, gives him a little bit of character. And then you'll come in, once the black dries, add a little dots of white paint and that will put a little sparkle in his eye. See that? Just brings him to life if you add some little white. I don't know how many times that I see people draw a snowman and they never put any light in his eyes and he just looks like he's kind of dead. Okay? So then we're going to put those over there to dry a few minutes. Take these you can use a glue stick or you can use your glue runner. Put this on there. There's one. Lastly, for the head. And you can use a glue stick and glue these on better, but for demonstration purposes, I am just using the glue runner. Okay. And the same thing with this hat. Just going to put a little glue on him. You put it over the side, over the top. Whichever way you do, it'll give him a little bit of personality. Okay, so we have all three of our buttons. There's his head, his buttons, and his bottom. Alright, 
Now, you might wonder what we're going to do with this strip. Well, first of all, we're going to put some glue on it. This is what holds our snowman together. You can see I'm not really proficient with glue gun. I don't use it as much. Okay. We're going to lay that over at the side. We're going to take our peppermint patties and put one strip that way and one that way. And that will put on our head. Then just tap him on there. Okay. And see that glues that peppermint patty to it. Okay, we'll do the next one. Make sure you do two ways with the glue runner or the papers will curl up. Okay, there's the second one. And the third one. This is such a cute idea for to give to a teacher, to give to a co-worker, family, friends, anyone could have this. Okay, starting with the bottom one. I put on and just push down. Then layer it with the second one on top, giving a little space in between. Okay, push down. And there is the third one. And so now you have a little snowman that holds together. See how quick and easy that was? If you have any questions, please just let me know. Otherwise, here's your quick little tutorial on how to put these together. Thanks.